Greetings from the Center for Molecular Dynamics Nepal, CMDN, and KIPS 98.3 FM. I am Dibes Karmachari, and welcome to our program, Healthcare in Nepal, Analysis and Perspective from Experts. In this series, we dive deep into issues and challenges in healthcare in Nepal by interviewing experts from various walks of healthcare profession. Today, we'll be talking about cancer in Nepal. Much needs to be understood about cancer incidence and epidemiology in Nepal, but recent research done in 2009 shows that Nepal has higher burden of cancer and the numbers are increasing. We have Dr. Bizes Kimire with us today. Uh, welcome to our program. Thank you, Dibes. Before we start, I would like to briefly introduce Dr. Kimire. Dr. Bizes Kimire is a medical oncologist at OM Hospital and Research Center here in Kathmandu, Nepal. He graduated with MBBS from India in 2000 and obtained MD in Medical Oncology in 2006. He is recipient of uh, many international awards, uh, including International Development and Education Award, and he is a an young and upcoming medical oncologist in Nepal. Um, he is also vice chairman of Nepal Cancer Support Group, a non-government organization which works for advocacy of cancer-related issues, forms various cancer support groups, and works to promote health awareness and early detection of breast cancer and other cancers in Nepal. Uh, he has profound interest in cancer research and has published various papers, international papers, in um, reputed journals. And we are very happy to have him here today talking about cancer in Nepal. So, um, welcome again, Dr. Bizes. Uh, uh, thank you, Dibes, uh, for inviting me here, and uh, uh, we, we will be talking about uh, cancer in Nepal today. Hope uh, the talk that we'll have today will be beneficial for everybody that uh, will be listening to this talk. Great. So, we start with um, um, cancer in general in Nepal. Could you give us some background uh, in uh, cancer incidence, types of cancer, as well as um, any type of research done in cancer in Nepal? Uh, regarding the incidence uh, of cancer in Nepal, I, first of all, it's very unfortunate to tell me tell you that we in Nepal we don't have a population-based registry system. So the only data that we have about the cancer incidence is from the major hospitals that treat cancers. So the d data that we have is not the holistic data, but these are the data from various hospitals. Uh, from the uh, data that we have, it is estimated that we have 40 to 50,000 cancer cases in Nepal in any given year. And uh, uh, the major prevalent cancers in Nepal is uh, almost the same with the world, uh, with the world incidence. In Nepal, it's uh, been seen that uh, in, among males, lung cancer is the most prevalent cancer, followed by head and neck cancer and stomach cancer, whereas in female, cervix, uh, you, cancer, carcinoma of cervix, uh, breast cancer, and lung cancer. These are the three topmost uh, cancer in uh, female in Nepal. Uh, but this trend is uh, a little different from the trend that we have in uh, OM hospital. Uh, in the OM hospital that uh, we, I did, we did one uh, research uh, last year and uh, of uh, about 4,000 people. And uh, there it was found that uh, uh, because the OM hospital represents mainly the urban population of, of Nepal, so in urban population it was found that in male, lung cancer was the number one cancer, followed by stomach cancer and colorectal cancer, whereas in female, breast cancer has overtaken the cervical cancer, is the number one cancer, followed by cervical cancer, and uh, ovarian cancer is the number third cancer that we found it in OM, OM hospital. So, uh, Dr. Bijesh, it sounds like uh, the... Uh the types of cancer and the incidence of cancer in Nepal is pretty similar to South Asian uh, trend as well as some of the international trend. Um, I am just wondering about uh, what might be the causative agent, why lung cancer would be number one cancer, and why cervical cancer would be number one cancer in female. Um, so I, I just wanted to kind of get a sense of uh, the causative agent, uh, or do we know about the cause? of these cancer? Uh, regarding uh, lung cancer, as everybody knows, tobacco is the number one cause for uh, lung cancer. And in the South Asian context and in Nepali context also, we Nepalese uh, people 
uh, tend to smoke a lot, especially women also in our context smoke a lot. We also have the habit of uh, doing tobacco, tobacco chewing, which is one of the causes for uh, mouth, mouth cancer as well as lung cancer. So in, uh, it's been seen that 18 to 90 percent of the lung cancer is due to smoking. So for lung cancer, we uh, we know the causative organ everything is is smoking. If, the, if we can quit smoking and we can promote on anti-smoking programs, I think uh, lung cancer burden can be reduced to a certain extent. As far as uh, cervical cancer is concerned, as we all know that uh, the cervical cancer uh, uh, cancer is um, mainly seen in a poor country with uh, low hygiene uh, with uh, low low hygiene among women and in Nepal and in people who live in a crowded places and uh, and uh, so as we Nepal we are from uh, we belong we Nepal belongs to a poor country so we we have a higher incidence of uh, cervical cancer and now and one very important thing that we have we now know is human people papilloma virus uh, which is one of the uh, main uh, main reason main uh, causative uh, organ main or no, causative organism for uh, cervical cancer so uh, I, uh, as we don't have any studies of uh, cervical uh, SPV virus uh, studies among the CS uh, carcinoma of cervix patient, but I, we think the one of the most important reason could be uh, the incident, high incidence of human papilloma virus in Nepali populations, Nepali women populations. Um, uh, so it, it does look like uh, we might have some environmental factor. Uh, that is acting as the causative agent for, for some of these cancers, as well as uh, some of the uh, infectious uh, disease uh, component to it uh, with the HPV. Yeah, yeah you're right. And uh, regarding the cancer incidence in general, because now the uh, life expectancy of a person is increasing in every country, so as the patient uh, get older, the chances of uh, conducting a life-threatening disease like cancer is more, so incidence is very high. Slowly, and uh, our uh, changes in diets and lifestyles, growing urbanization, industrialization, and so these all contribute uh, to higher incidence of uh, uh, cancers. So in, in cancer, we can see that not only tobacco, diet, viruses, chemicals, radiations, genetics, these all play an uh, play important role in different kinds of cancers. Um. Also, uh, that might be a good segue to get into the diagnostic uh, component of it. Um, I just wanted to find out um, what our uh, capacity and capability are in terms of diagnosing cancer in, in Nepal. And also, if you could kind of highlight uh, the, some of the challenges that we face, uh, you being a, uh, an oncologist, uh, that you face in terms of diagnosis, both clinical as well as laboratory-based. Uh, this is one of the areas that we in Nepal uh, are lagging very, very far behind from even the, our South Asian countries. Uh, the problem in Nepal uh, is, uh, are many. The most important problem is in Nepal we don't have a trained manpower uh, in the field of oncology as much as we would like. The manpower that, uh, in, 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 field, in the field of cancer is very, 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 very low. And uh, with that, we don't have... Uh, a program, a uh, government-based program for cancer uh, screening, cancer treatment, cancer palliation. We don't have any of those. So what happens is that the general do uh, doctor, whenever they see any cancer patient, they, they, uh, they, they give, tend to give uh, uh, very bad prognosis to the patient parties. And uh, what happens is that they don't, many people, when they get diagnosed with cancer, they don't take treatment. So... What we, uh, we have in Nepal is that we should have uh, awareness um, not only among the uh, oncologists but among the general physicians and other health professionals as such so that any person who is diagnosed with cancer is referred to a good uh, places where there is a facility to, to treat cancer. So this is one of the areas that we, we are lacking in health professional uh, way. And another, way, another very important thing is in, in laboratory uh, setting, we in Nepal, we lack general, uh, except for in some good hospital in Kathmandu, if you see the whole of Nepal, it's, uh, the diagnosis of cancer is very, as a, as a very primitive stage. We don't have any uh, very, very simple tests like uh, ultrasonar, ultrasonar guided FNACs. There are not pathologists uh, available, especially in other uh, CT scan, MRIs, PET scan, which are very important uh, aspect of cancer detection. We don't have in Nepal. And even 
and the the smallest tests like pap smear test and all these things also not uh, not available for most of the populations and even mri even mammographies and this also the condition is very very bad so we should have a, i think a national plan from the government itself that these are this is the national cancer control plan in nepal so that we can coordinate from uh, pathologist uh, to the surgeons to the medical uh, medical field and to the general population so we should have a, a, a cancer control plan in nepal